We live in Georgia and have a beach condo in St. Croix, so we're here all the time. Here are our favorite things to do. A lot of cruise ships come into St. Croix and Frederickstead Harbor, but my favorite is flying into St. Croix because that means I'll be able to stay more than one or two days, which usually the cruise ships just stay for the day. So I hope that you can make it either way. Our very favorite adventure so far is going tandem parasailing, and you can catch that right out of Christiansted Harbor. Christiansted Harbor is also where most of the restaurants and shops are located on the island. The Caribbean food is fantastic, but there's also all different kinds of foods, burgers, pizza, Mexican, Chinese, and of course their famous rum cocktails are offered almost everywhere. Most restaurants are casual dining all over the island. However, we do have fine dining too. Here is the Toast Cafe, which we love for breakfast. And what you see there is rum cake French toast. Can you even believe how good it is? It absolutely is. Enjoy. You'll find a list of all of our favorite restaurants down in the description below. They'll all be listed there along with contact information so that you can go and try them all. The Buccaneer Resort has fine dining, but one of our favorite things to do as far as the Buccaneer is they have an excellent view of sunset and the bar is positioned so that you can have drinks at the bar and look right out to where the sun is setting. You are going to love it and you're going to want to do it your very first time that you go to the island. Here is my view of the harbor, Christiansted Harbor, as I'm eating at Mill Pizza, which is at an old windmill base um, where they made wood-fired pizzas. Can you believe that view sitting outside? You can see the view from inside or outside the restaurant, but I love eating out outside of the restaurant so you can see how beautiful it is. There are loads of places that have Caribbean barbecue all over the island, but one of our favorites, which is close to our condo, is called Blue's Backyard Barbecue. What's so cool about it is on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can have the fantastic barbecue, all kinds of rum drinks and beer, and listen to a live band. These guys were great. They were playing old rock. Point Udall is a must. When you are standing, standing at Point Udall, where you can see us here, you are standing at the easternmost part of the United States. So when you come at sunrise, like around 6 a.m. or maybe 5.30 to 6 a.m., you're able to be the first Americans to, or first people in the, in the U.S. territories to see the first sunrise. And so it's beautiful there, but also it's very fun to do. Fort Christiansted was built in the 1700s, and it's a beautiful fortress, and it has so much history, including the history of Alexander Hamilton. His mother was imprisoned here. You can see a lot of the cannons are still out, so you can take loads of pictures of the beautiful Caribbean Sea from the harbor, but also go through all of the, um, of the fort. It is now a United States National Park, and you're going to want to absolutely do it. It's in Christiansted Harbor. The Salt River is historic because this is where the Carib people had their village and there, there was the biggest amount of people. That's where Caribbean comes from, from the Carib people. Columbus landed here in 1493, a year after he landed on the mainland of the United States. He's the one that named it St. Croix. Actually, it would have been Santa Cruz in Spanish, um, which means Holy Cross. And you're able to take a tour using the kayaks with a tour guide all over the Salt River, which has amazing um, bioluminescence at night, all kinds of different wildlife that you really can hardly find anywhere else. This is a photo of, um, you, these are jellyfish you can actually pick up, which we did when we went on the kayak tour. So you learn all about the history of St. Croix, of the islands, and you also get to see all this amazing beauty um, and where Columbus landed for the first time um, on the island. So enjoy. Lyric Sunset Sail leaves out of Fred Frederickstead Harbor. That's also the harbor where the cruise ships come in because it is deeper and so the cruise ships can come all the way to the pier. But the Lyric Cruise for Sunset on that side of the island, which is where the sun sets and you can see it beautiful over the water, um, is so much fun because it includes rum drinks. You're gone for a couple of hours out with other people who want to see the beautiful sunset and there's live music. And we had a guy that was doing Caribbean and Jimmy Buffett, which was totally rocked my boat. I loved it. And I think you guys will too. 
I hope you've got a lot of great info about where to go in St. Croix. The places that I've told you about, you're able to do in a week, but it's so much better if you have a couple of weeks. Part two will have a few more places that you want to hit if you're going to go for the first time or maybe the first and second time, which will include the history of sugar cane and rum on the island and the Danish shown in the island, um, including slavery. And you're able to see a lot of that um, information and you're able to go to those sites, uh, which are super interesting. Enjoy. We'll see you in part two.